When I grew up, I grew up as a young boy in a hospitality family. My dad was a chef, he came out here in 1960. I uh, grew up uh, in and out of kitchens uh, as a young lad from a, the age of about six or seven on school holidays and weekends and things like that. Um, and I vowed never to become a chef. Um, but as soon as I turned 15, I decided that um, I wanted my independence and I felt comfortable in a kitchen, so that's where I ended up. And uh, I've never looked back, I absolutely love it. Well, I caught the bug from my father and my auntie and well, my whole family because- Sounds like a disease. Well, it is a little <laughs> bit at times. <laughs> it gets under your yeah, skin, it doesn't does. it? It does, it's hard, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to get rid of it once you've got it. You can't help it, you get absorbed by it. It becomes an obsession. Like uh, all good things, all good careers, I suppose you get obsessed by it a little bit. The good thing is that you enjoy it. You've got to enjoy it. If oh, you, you can't do it. this job unless yeah. you're really enjoying it, it it's a very, passionate about it. It's a very passion-fueled, um, a passion fuel career. I think, uh, you know, the people of Melbourne love lifestyle um, and it reflects in the street. You walk down any, any city street these days and it reflects in the bars, in the cafes, uh, you know, there's art shows on all the time. We've got fantastic theatre happening all the time. It's, it's just a fun town. It's always erupting with uh, laughter and people having a good time. It's a city made up still, fortunately, of, of very many different strips and you're outdoors you're walking around, you're feeling the atmosphere of a city, um, and that gives, I believe, a city a real unique kind of character. And the food's great too. I sort of just soak up the, the culture and the vibe of everything, walk around and go to the Victoria Market and places like that on a Tuesday and just soak up the smells and the sounds and all the lovely little delectables that they have on offer there. That's one of my favourite places on one a Tuesday One of the best morning. markets in the world. It's it beautiful. is the best market in the world, so yeah, I love it.